California, it's been like 110 degrees. It's been ridiculous. So the girl that I'm seeing, I say, yeah, let's go over to your friend's pool. Let's, let's check it out. You know, have a nice little day. Of course, I got to get the friend's approval. So I go over there, start chopping it up with her, doing what I do, wheeling and dealing, just having a good little time. We're having fun. Next thing you know, it's time to head on over to the pool. So we go outside. We go to the pool. And her friend had a black shirt on over her bikini. She takes off the shirt. And I can't help but notice she's got a bunch of numbers on the side of her stomach, just up and down, a bunch of different numbers. So, of course, I had to ask. I said, excuse me, if you don't ask me, what, what, if you don't mind me asking, what do your tattoos mean there? And she looked at me, and this is the only thing I never understand about tattoos. There's like a, an unwritten rule that you're not supposed to ask what it means unless you know the person or feel comfortable with the person, and I never understood that. So she gave me kind of like a nasty look and she said, yeah, well, you know, I, I prefer you don't ask her and that we don't really talk about it, but it's the coordinates of where we buried my grandma. And then the girl that I'm seeing turns over to me and goes, Robbie, come on. Why, why would you ask that? Why would I ask that? This girl put the Da Vinci code on the whole side of her body and she expects us not to ask her body looks like a bingo board. You don't think I'm going to ask? Look, I'm sorry about your grandma, but isn't that the whole point of a tattoo? And I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. I said, it's like a restaurant promoting a happy hour. You go inside and you ask for a happy hour menu, and the waitress gets upset that you asked for the happy hour menu because she might not be making as good of a tip because you're getting two-for-one cocktail. And I want to say, ma'am, don't be upset with me. Be upset with the guy that your restaurant hired to flip a 20 by 50 billboard outside the restaurant to let us know that you guys are having happy hour for the next two hours. Don't get set with me. You ink your body and you expect me not to ask anything? If I have a Yankee symbol going down my leg, I'm not going to be upset when somebody asks me for the score of the Yankee game. I'm probably going to know it. Somebody comes up to me, sir, I noticed you had a Yankee symbol on your leg. Could you tell me what is the Yankee score? Why would you ask that? Come on. I, I, I'd really prefer to not talk about it. Is that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? I just don't understand the unwritten rules on tattoos. There's like this underground etiquette to tattoos. I'm not a tattoo guy myself, but I'll never understand it. I love the guys that get the name of their name on the tattoo. It's like Paul loved his name so much that he decided to get Paul tattooed down his arm. I've never understood that. Being named Paul was not enough for Paul. He wanted his entire arm to remind him that his name was Paul. And I got news for you. Paul probably wants other people to see that tattoo and say, hey, your name is Paul. I had to ask about the coordinates. You know, the thing with these tattoos, and I'm all for tattoos, I have no issue with them, but some of them are kind of like hidden and it just kind of catches you off guard. You ever have a girl, she's completely clean, you don't see any tattoos on her? And then you go to get intimate with her, you guys take each other's clothes off, when her shirt comes off, next thing you know, she's got a fucking butterfly on her back, the size of her back. She uses her shoulders as the wings. You know, I just feel like for something like that, you should at least have some sort of sign that, yes, you have tattoos. Put like a carpe diem on your arm so that when I know when we go to get intimate, there's a good chance I'm going to be looking at a butterfly on your back. Something along those lines. I just don't understand the unwritten rules of the tattoo. Some of the tattoos can be kind of intimidating. Some people just go all out. They got like a tiger around their genitalia. You got to kind of work around the tiger a little bit. It's just kind of strange for the person who does have a tiger tattooed around their genitalia or wherever they may have it, at least put some, get some sort of tattoo so that we know moving forward there may be some sort of tiger or some sort of big tattoo to expect. But I couldn't believe it. Your torso looks like the Da Vinci Code, and you expect me not to ask about your tattoo? 
Am I crazy for that here, gang, folks of the Brilliantly Dumb Show? And I got news for you. Since that little tattoo thing, it was, I was climbing an uphill battle from then. I got to get the friend's approval. But boy, did that halt things a little bit. It was like all the progress that I made in the first 30 minutes to an hour of being there was completely out the window because I decided to ask about her tattoo that she had inked to her body. I just never understood it. I just don't get it. And you know what? She may be listening to this right now. I'm sorry. Next time I see a tattoo, I won't ask about the tattoo.